Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we will talk about Lament and PvP. And I know what you're saying, Lament and PvP? We know Lament is a really great gun for PvE, but why would you use Lament and PvP? Well, it has a few little tricks up its sleeve that I would try soon before Bungie decides to patch them. If you like this video, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. So first off, how do you get Lament? Now, I'm not gonna make some long video. I wanna keep this one short about how you get it. I will briefly put up the steps on the screen. It is a quest you get from Banshee. Involves a lot of stuff with Clovis. There's some cool lore and some story elements in there. So I would definitely check it out when you get a chance, but there's definitely a lot of videos already out there on getting that. So first off, we know that Lament is a real beast in PvE. And most of that is because of Banshee's Whale, which when you hold, you rev the blade up, you increase damage, you bypass shields, and you add shield piercing to all attacks. So this is really good against champions and things like that. You gain stacks of that every time you do damage. So for instance, if you go to the Atrex encounter within the new Deepstone Crypt raid, it's pretty much the only weapon you should use because as you get stacks, as you do damage to enemies with your light attack and then you do your heavy attack, which unleashes Banshee's Will, you do a ton of extra damage. In addition, you can also heal yourself when you damage combatants. So again, it can be really helpful. And, and that particular thing will come in handy in PvP. But again, this video is why it's useful within PvP. First off, we know swords are generally not the strongest in PvP these days because there's only a few times in each match where you can use that when you get power ammo. And in general, there are a lot of other better weapons that you can use in the power slot. What makes Lament different? Well, the one thing that really comes in handy in PvE is that you can basically almost infinitely hold and block attacks. And this is needed in PvE because the whole purpose of Lament is to be able to get over to champions, things like that, to block to be able to keep yourself from taking as much damage and then take a particular enemy out. Well, this also extends over to PvP, which surprised me when I first used this. Again, this allows you to peek around corners and walls, and basically you can slow walk if you're close to them with blocking. So I was able to take Jotun Fire and actually resist that. I was able to take almost a direct impact from a shotgun and still live and other weapons, even like auto rifles and things like that. Now, obviously it's not infinite. It's not something you're gonna be able to do forever, but it comes in really handy and allows you to close distance with your enemies. And in PVP, that's something that's that's really, really useful. So that's the video, guys. I didn't wanna waste your, your time with a very long video, but I did wanna let you know about this trick I had found in PVP. It's not going to totally break the game, but in close matches where you need a real difference, it can definitely help out and I would get in and do this because at some point, Bungie may decide that it's overpowered, especially once Trials rolls out. And once people discover this, it might be something that gets nerfed within PvP. Again, that's the video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to like it and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. And I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.